What is going on, beautiful people? Your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness here, with another episode of A Narcissist Explains, live edition, live at 9.35 p.m. Um, today's episode is going to be about why do narcissists like to hold on to trophies or keepsakes or trinkets from past relationships? I know a lot of y'all will vibe with that and understand that dynamic in that space right there of how narcissistic people, if you if you dealt with a narcissist or a toxic person in the past, how they've refused to let go of certain things that their ex might have given them, that their part that you know that, that their ex-wife or ex-husband might have given them. Why don't they let that type of stuff go? It is not even ex-husband or ex-wife. Um Sometimes they can hold on to trinkets from affair partners, from people that they've slept with in the past. It doesn't even have to like a one night stand that they had while y'all was married, you know, an Apple watch that my uh, affair partner gave me, uh, a shirt that uh, with holes in it, that, uh, a shirt that smelled like my ex, that type of stuff right there. Why don't, why, narciss why do narcissists like to do that right there, you know? Who said that, Hassan? Uh, yeah, uh, like a bracelet. Yes, like like news. It, it, this is exactly like news. Every, my my ex had every ex's news, like trophies. So they're right there. So if they're holding on to news and you you get you send them some, you already know where yours yours have been added to the to the the, tr the trophy case. They like to have it onto their stuff right there. They like to hold on to that stuff because it, it's sometimes especially if it's them cheating, if there's something that they held on to uh, uh, cheating, like if they cheated on you and they held on to something like uh, a nude or a picture or a video, they'll keep that just so they can remind themselves of it. It's just like going back in time to remind themselves of something that they've gotten away with, you know, something that they've escaped with, something that they've gotten away, uh, you know, like, like I said, they, they put it under, put it in a shoebox under the bed. Or something like that. They will do that. They absolutely. There's a lot of narcissists that will absolutely do that. They'll hold on to it. You know, keep doing this type, this type of stuff right here, they, they, because it reminds them of better times. You know, it reminds them of better times, a better be, of a past not too far ago. It reminds them that there's things out there that could be better for them. You know, and if you find it, guess what? You're in trouble for finding it. If you find their box or their their um, portfolio of nudes, their their, their their Manila envelope of nudes, that's you, that's on you. You did this. You shouldn't have found my nudes. How dare you find my nudes that I've had? I I I had. How dare you? How dare you discover that I haven't deleted a picture of my ex from high school, even though we're fifty years old? How dare you? That's my ex. They like to hold on to this stuff because it makes them feel powerful. Like, especially like with the news, like if they're holding on to your news, that could be a control thing. That could absolutely be a control thing. It's a trophy. I got this trophy right here, right? This is my trophy. I'm holding on to this trophy because it allows me to control you. You know, I got this. You know, I got, look, if you run your mouth, I can, I can drop, I can drop this folder. You know, I can start, a, I can start an OnlyFans. Uh, which with your with your content, <laughs> with your face and stuff, and you only know it's me. It, it, it'll be you. I'm making money off of you, or they 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 will be making money off of you by sharing your stuff, but having people think that it's somebody else. You see what I'm saying? They'll embarrass you. They'll use that against you, y'all. So that's what I'm just saying. Like if you like the person who commented that earlier, like my ex didn't had all his new his ex's nudes in a folder or something like that. That's a red y'all. If that if that ain't Red flaggy is if that ain't red flaggy as hell, I don't know what to tell you. Why are you hold on to your ex's nudes? Oh, I just like to look at them and just like it just sometimes it makes me feel good to just know they're there, you know. I just I just don't delete stuff. I just it's just me. You 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 deleted that uh that text message string when you were cheating on me. Oh, that's different. That's different. I didn't want you to find that. You see what I'm saying? It's always something silly right there. It really is. It really, really is. And sometimes in these spaces right here, y'all, like they'll hold on to stuff because it's going to make me they'll hold on to things because it makes them feel like they it makes them it reminds them of something like they'll hold on to it 
and it, it, it feeds into to their delusions that y'all might be able to get back together. You see what I'm saying? If it's an ex, if it's the one that got away, so to speak, it could feed the delusions that they might can get back together later on. You mean it's like, oh, I'm going to get it back. I'm going to get them back. You might be a placeholder. If they're holding on to things from their exes that they refuse to let go, then you might be a placeholder. You absolutely might be a placeholder right now. If, if you bring it up and they refuse to delete it or get rid of that type of stuff, I'm just telling you, you this this is something you need to think about. This is I'm not telling you I'm not telling you to end your relationship on the spot, but this is definitely something that you need to think about right here, y'all. So, if y'all don't know, I do have a mini course out here that I released called Understanding the Seven Stages of a Narcissistic Relationship. The link is in the description. I'm gonna drop the link right here. It helps you understand why you were picked, why you got discarded, what you went through. Um, it also comes with a support group as well. If you're interested in that, the link is going to be in the comment section and whatnot. You can enter code uh, Lee, L-E-E, -E, 21 for 21% 21 off. Um, there was just like a little commercial right there, y'all. <laughs> but that's the way it goes, though, in these relationship spaces. I'm not, like I said, I'm not telling you to end, to end your relationship on the spot, but this is something you have to consider. Because they, if they're not going to delete that type of stuff, they they will tell they will look at you and lie and tell you that they don't have feelings for their ex, but they absolutely do. Delete it then. If you don't have feelings for your ex, delete it. You haven't talked to this ex in 20 years. You're married to me. They're married to someone else. They got family. Like, delete it. No, I don't want to delete it. But I can't believe you guys are trying to force me. You so insecure. You're so jealous of somebody that you never met before. I can't believe you would tell me to do this. How dare you? Oh, wow. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. That's the type of stuff that happens right there, y'all. He keeps sex tapes from their partner. Yeah. Uh, so again, that's just like the new situation. If they're telling you that they have sex tapes from their all of their exes or partners or whatever, and they're showing it to you, what do you think they're gonna do with yours? So if you if you see them, if y'all getting ready to, uh, if y'all getting matter of fact, hold on. If y'all if y'all getting ready to do it, if y'all getting ready to do it, think things are getting hot and heavy, and you see them and you see them whip out a book bag, you see them whip out a book bag and uh, and a tri they set a tripod up. Like hold on, hold on, girl, stay ready, stay ready for just think about me real quick. Let me get this set up real quick for you. What are you doing? Oh nothing. I'm just gonna. I just you know I just like the tripods. I like tripods in the bedroom. You know how people have uh those are the little, little dream weavers on the on the windows. And the walls, I like to have tripods. You know, something stupid like they see them. As, <laughs> if you see them setting a tripod up, buckle your safety belt. Oh, you don't trust me? Wow, wow, wow. They'll get you right there. They'll get you nice and set up right there. Mine will record while and then watch while we were. Oh, he's so this kind of this kind of he's a little, little, little twisted right there. You know, a little twisted. But that's the situation a lot of people fall into right there. That boy just telling you, you have to understand. Like, if they're holding onto things for their exes, it's not a good, it's not a green flag. Yeah, it's definitely not a damn green flag. This is not a green flag right here. It is definitely not green flaggy for them to hold onto stuff from their exes. It is absolutely not. I don't like, like, the, the, and I, I know some people just like, well, if they start loving me more, they'll get rid of that stuff. No, the hell they won't. Well, they, no, they won't. They won't. They really will not. You see what I'm saying? It's just like, I'm terrified of the stuff he has so stupid to me. I mean, some states have laws against this. And some of y'all might be protected. But again, y'all got, I know, I know y'all like to be freaky and all the other stuff. There's not, look, this is not me trying to kink shame. Y'all got to be smart. I ain't trying to kink shame nobody. You know, you get a little freaky. Look, I got tripods all over the house. I get it. I get it. But if you just, if you just met this, you, if you just met this dude in the club, and he got a tripod in his house? No. No. Come on. So I found them online. To, to, they are, they are, oh, yeah. Y'all got to, you bring somebody home, you got to you got to wand them down. You got to hit them with a uh, check. You got to damn near pat them down, check them for a wire. Like, check you for a wire. Hand, like, you go, you know how you're going through the airport? You got to put your hands up, <laughs> go through that thing, the security. You got to make them go through that, a scan, a whole damn body scan. Because people will get you, y'all. A school picture of his high school ex he held on to forever. Yeah, I'm just telling y'all, if they hold on to this stuff like that, y'all, that's not a green flag. That's red flaggy as hell right there. Seriously. 
that's red flaggy as hell. They are just like, there's, it's not a good sign that they hold on to pictures from their ex. It's like, oh, you, did your ex pass away? Oh, no, they just got married last week. So I just, I've been rubbing on it. I've been rubbing the picture like a genie's lamp. You know, they got married to somebody else after I cheated on them. And I've just been rubbing their pictures like a genie's lamp, hoping I get three wishes. You know, no, it's not a good sign that they're holding on to stuff from their exes. Oh, it's really not. Welcome, new subscriber. Welcome. It's really not that they're holding on to pictures and things for their exes. It's this, y'all. It is not a, there's no, no good things will come from that. I'll say it like that. No good things will come from that. I was married to mine. So that's different right there, y'all. If you married him, you, if you married a woman out the tripod, that's, that's a little different. I, I feel like there's a level of trust right there. I can get that. But y'all gonna understand, like, if they're, if they're flashing the red flags on the first, second, third date, then y'all, we gotta, we gotta start making moves then. We gotta start making moves. You see what I'm saying? But, they hold on the trophies because it is memories of the past and they don't they're not ready to let go. And they probably will never let go of them, y'all. And it's not in this they're gonna make you feel like um I shared a video very recently. I did a video very recently of a woman. Um, she shared a video of her her her, her current husband has blown up pictures of him and his ex, uh, his ex-girlfriend all throughout the house. And he asked her, she asked him to take him down. He lost his damn mind. He's like, you can't do this to me. I've told you about this. You bring it up again, you're going to have problems. I'm like, God damn. Damn. What were you 30? What were you 27 years ago? I was an 11-year-old pup. I was in like seventh, eighth grade. Seventh grade. <laughs> yeah, so that's what happened right there. My ex keeps my panties. I can't, uh, I'm just telling you. He, is, is he wearing them? I don't, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know if he walk around sniffing them. He's probably wearing them. He's keep out and he, 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 he just remember he's like, oh, these these, these is uh these are old shades orange. This these this is shades old black, this black thing right here. Oh old shades. I missed that. Oh. People, y'all, uh, some of these some of these motherfuckers are weird. Some of them are weirdos, y'all. Some are absolutely weirdos. Like seriously. But yeah, I got time, I got time for a few questions before I have to hop off of here. Um, you make me laugh because everything you say is true. I love that you're out here exposing. Yeah, appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, this turn into sexual coercion in my marriage five months out, and it's a nightmare. Stay safe, stay safe. When you get out of it, you just stay in power, y'all. That's what I say. I have my I, I have my support groups. I have my mini courses and things like that. Um, like I said, I'll drop the link to my support my mini course, and then I'll drop the one to the support group as well in the uh, comments, so y'all can check that out. Um, mine was a straight up weirdo. I mean, yeah, obsessed with recording intimacy. That's what happens, y'all. That's what I'm just telling you. That's exactly what happens right there. They get obsessed with that type of stuff. They really, really do. And they don't want to let it go. They want to hold on to it to the end of time and whatnot. By what, what help, help, help with what? You just put the word help. I don't know. The, I'm uncertain. Describe narcissist trophy wife partner. I mean, everybody's going to be different in these situations right there. Everybody, trophy wife or trophy husband or whatever, is going to be different. Everybody has different uh, requirements and whatnot. Do, 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 do. I'm telling you, Lee, it must be spiritual because how the narc's the same. It's uh the traits, the traits. I can understand the spirit, the, the you th thinking the spiritual dynamic exists. Um, can you speak to why they would claim a threat and be betrayal was a joke and act surprised when you called them out? Because they they want you to take it as a joke. I, I look, yeah, if they if they start threatening you and saying craziness, take it seriously. What I, what I realized, one of the main things I realized on this journey is that I don't put anything past anyone anybody is capable of anything it just in this stage right here i wrote she was trying to ask you she was trying to ask you that my ex decided he wanted to put a restraining order against me after me and him broke up he decided he wants to go to restore he order against me good call i didn't respond why do they do that but keep trying to call um if they got a restraining order on you and if you get if they got a restraining order on you they can call you, but you can't call them. They can talk to you, but you can't talk to them. And they will play games to if he or if he's threatened, if he's threatened to put a restraining order on you, he probably will. He's trying to bait you into talking to him and seeing him again. You know, he's trying to he's trying to bait you into talking to him or seeing him again or seeing her again. Well, I, I've you know, so I would leave it alone if you can, because you might end up in jail with a charge and then your your uh, your record be blemished for some uh for a person that don't deserve it, you know. But yeah, I do have to hop off of here. I try to keep these little short lives about 15 minutes or less. Um, like I said, the support groups and the courses are still out here, y'all. I appreciate you so much. I'll be back here at the same time tomorrow. Be safe. I'm out.
Peace.